beating death of Frederick Freddie Gray by the Baltimore City Police Department is part of a string in a pattern of police brutality cases that have transpired in this city that have happened without any type of consequence from the city or from the state's attorney's office. If you remember, we live in this neighborhood, we remember what happened a couple of years back with Anthony Anderson over there in a similar East Baltimore neighborhood. Anthony Anderson was picked up in the air, slammed on his head. Am I right about it? He was slammed on his head, launched up into the air like a basketball, and killed almost instantly. This happened on the birthday of his two-year-old granddaughter in her presence. The Baltimore City Police Department killed him in the presence of his children. They killed him in the presence of his mother, his siblings, and right there in the broad daylight. The there you go. The Maryland Medical Examiner's Office ruled that death a homicide. They ruled it a homicide. However, the officers that were responsible for his brutal beating death are still on the force today. All they received was a paid vacation at the taxpayer's expense. They were not charged. They were not fired. But if we were to have committed a similar crime, we would have been charged, fired, and the key would have been thrown away. We also remember what happened with Tyrone West just one year ago. Tyrone West in northwest, in northeast Baltimore, he was drugged out of his car, beat and tasered to death by the Baltimore City Police Department. In that particular case, again, the officers were given a paid vacation. There were no arrests made of the officers. No one was charged. No one was indicted. And no one was fired. We also remember last year. George King, a 19-year-old boy, went into the hospital for a simple tooth extraction but was tasered to death five times by the Baltimore City Police Department in conjunction with Good Samaritan Hospital Security Police. So we are here today to fight for justice for Freddie Gray. But Freddie Gray stands on the shoulders of Anthony Anderson, Tyrone West, and George King. So we're here today to say that as a result of the fact that no one was held accountable in those cases, that the community is in fact executing an independent investigation. Yeah.